Hi everybody, this is Ronnie, your go-to instructor if you want to learn how to design with Canva. In this video, we are going to cover all the recent updates coming from Canva. Look at this dude. Hey guys, super happy to be here with you today. I'm going to show you in this video the latest development with Canva. That is the new features, the new buttons, the new improvements uh, that Canva brought to its platform. So if you are ready, I'm going to switch my screen and start showing you the new features. The first feature I want to talk about is called Element Locking. And this is already available for all Canva for work users, so the paid users of Canva. So how does this work? Let's say you have created a visual like this one made out of one, two, three, four elements plus the background. Let's say I don't want my background to, move, to be moving around and also I don't want that cactus to be moving around. So what I can do, I select the background and here in your top right corner, you have a, a, a padlock it's called the element locking. So it says lock. So if you push this lock, if you press this padlock right here, it's going to be locking my background. Now I cannot select the background, it's not moving. Same, let's say I want to, I've aligned these two elements, this El Taco Loco, our taco here. If we want to lock these two elements, I select them and then I use the padlock to lock them. Now, when I select, I can only move these guys right here. There's no way I can move the other elements. So to unlock, just click on it individually and unlock like this with the padlock. Same for the background. And now everything can be moved again. So that's element locking and it's already available for all Canva for work users. The next feature I want to present to you guys is one of my favorites so far. It's the possibility to create your very own gradient. Yes, you heard it right. Canva is now giving you the opportunity to create your own gradients. So how do you do this? First, you go to the search bar in your Canva editor and you search for gradient. Once you do that, then you will see a different gradient that comes in first right here. It's a square one instead of all the other one being rectangle gradients. So if you click on the square gradient, this is what's going to happen. It's going to open a square with two different colors and you will see here that the colors can be adjusted. That's the cool feature. So if you click on the first color, for example, let's say I want to create a purple and a yellow gradient, which is basically awful. So I will create something nicer. I will use the Canva color and let's say white. So this is my uh, gradient. The cool feature is that you can flip these, uh, not flip, but you can turn it around with the rotation tool. So you can basically choose the orientation of your gradient. And once you have an ori orientation, sorry, that you like, you can simply stretch it to fill up your screen like this. So this is now a very cool feature that allows you to create your very own gradients and God knows how much I love gradients. So this tool is pretty sweet for you uh, who love to play with gradient and colors. The next feature I want to talk about is the opportunity for you to easily convert your Canva 1.0 graphics and designs into Canva 2.0 compatible files. So the way to do this, and first the reason why you should do this, because uh, with Canva 2.0 now being rolled out to almost all Canva users, it is great time that you have all your files 2.0 compatible, right? So you do this by being here on the Canva dashboard. These are all my Canva designs. And if I pay close attention to them, I can see that most of these are already 2.0, but if you scroll down to further down your list of elements, you will see elements with a little 1.0, like this one right here. So this means this uh, Canva design is still 1.0. So the way you convert this design into 2.0 compatible, you just click the three little dots right here, and then you make a copy in Canva 2.0. So you just click this button and then it will create a copy on top of your list. And this is it right here. I can open this and check if everything is okay. You see it, it remained the file copy and I can see that this brand style guide, style guide has moved a little bit. So I will have to adjust a few things, but this is how you make your Canva 1.0 sorry, into 2.0 compatible. So you can see it's pretty much perfect. It's just a few lines here and there, a few things that need to be adjusted, but most of the work has been done already. So this is how you convert 1.0 Canva uh, designs into 2.0. 
I have more features for you coming from Canva. This time it's a very neat feature for those of you working with large documents. And this is the feature called Page Manager. So you will see at the bottom of your screen, next to the zoom functionality, you will find these four little squares. And if you click on them, basically what Canva is going to do is to give you an overview of all the pages in your document. So this will allow you to easily move pages around uh, and swap them uh, without having to go through your um, Canva editor like before, like just like this and move it one up, one down. Now you can move pages around, which is very convenient for people who are creating eBooks or large documents. You can now easily see and move your pages around in a simple manner. So that is called Page Manager. And this is a new feature also. I, I believe it is uh, available for all Canva users. Another Canva news that is going to be a good news for those of you who live in South East Asia, like myself, I live in Thailand. Uh, Canva Print now launches in Southeast Asia. So that's a good news for all of us living in countries like Singapore, Malaysia, Hong Kong, Taiwan, Macau, Thailand, Indonesia, Vietnam, Philippines, and Brunei. So uh, Canva Print is basically this service from Canva where you can directly send your Canva designs for printing uh, and it will be delivered to your home. So uh, good news for those of you who live in these countries. So uh, once again, the list of countries is Singapore, Malaysia, Hong Kong, Taiwan, Macau, Thailand, Indonesia, Vietnam, Philippines, and Brunei. So if you are from one of these countries, rejoice because you can now print your Canva design with Canva Print. All right, so the last round of features and updates for today have to do with the mobile version of Canva, so phone and tablets. The first one has to do with iOS users only. For those of you who use Canva on an iPad or on an iPhone, uh, you can now edit Canva 2.0 design from your iOS device. So that's the first update. Second one is that you can now uh, use your branded fonts. So branding just got easier for Canva for work users. You can now use your brand fonts on Canva for iOS. So these two first updates are for Canva for iOS, so for iPhone users only. Uh, the first one is that you can now edit your Canva 2.2 designs from your iOS device. And for those of you who are Canva for work users, so paid users of Canva, you can also use your branded fonts from your iOS device. And then the last update for today is the fact that you can now use 50 ready-made Instagram story template directly from your mobile Canva app. So in order to find these templates, uh, this Instagram story template, you just have to uh, swipe until you find Instagram story. So if you do this, you will see that you have different kinds of stories. So by using these templates that Canva prepared for you and your Instagram stories, you are sure to impress your Instagram audience. And that's it for today, guys. Uh, I had fun presenting you these new Canva news and updates. I hope you enjoyed discovering them as well. Uh, there are some other stuff that I unfortunately cannot talk about yet. So I'm not gonna say anything, but Canva is cooking some great stuff. Um, namely something that has to do with education for you guys, which is going to be a game changer. So uh, I cannot talk more about it, but it's going to come very soon in the weeks or months to come for sure. And it's a big thing. So uh, be aware that something is coming. And for the rest, I wish you all a nice weekend. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, share it with your friends who also love Canva. You can also share it on your page or whatever if you are using uh, Canva for customers or something like that. I'm happy that you share the video with them. There's no problem about this. If you want to follow us, you can join our Facebook group, Learn to Design with Canva. Just type this into Facebook. You will fall on our group, which is almost 5,000 members now. So thank you for that. I'm really happy to be a part of this group with you guys. You can also follow me on my page, Learn with Ronnie, facebook.com slash learn with Ronnie. That's R-O-N-N-Y for some updates about Canva, but not only, you can also find some other tutorials about different digital marketing resources that I create regularly. So that's it. Uh, I wish you all a very nice end of the day and I will see you in the next video.